Well, the gauntlet has been thrown. It looks like Sony had one of the best E3 press conferences in video game history. Hey, Jake Baldino here once again in sunny Los Angeles, and I am tired and exhausted, but I've seen so many video games, so I apologize for this setting, but I am here to talk about the Sony press conference, and oh my god. It started off with a complete bang with The Last Guardian. Yes, it's not dead, it's not canceled, it is here, and yes, that was the game I was alluding to in my E3 predictions video, if you haven't seen that. And of course, it looks absolutely amazing. It is so great that it's back from the dead, and if you've never seen anything from it, I'm sure the demo that you saw convinced you that The Last Guardian is pretty cool and worth the hype. Of course, there's tons of remnants of Eco and Shadow of the Colossus there, and that's great. I honestly couldn't get enough of it, and I watched that gameplay sequence twice, but we also got a look at Gorilla's new games. The guys that make Killzone aren't making Killzone anymore. They're working on a new game called Horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn takes place in this weird post-apocalyptic world where the humans became tribes again and technology became the wildlife. It's a really interesting perspective and it, while it seemed typical at first, it really turned things on its heads with that new idea. It's really cool. And thankfully the game looks like an absolute blast. We got to see the player running around in third person as a huntress character with a bow and arrow hunting robot machines and like practically like freaking dino bots or something. It was great. We also got news about Media Molecule's new game called Dreams, and it looks kind of abstract and weird, but it looks like you can create stuff, and that's cool. We also got some Street Fighter V news, and we got a look at a PlayStation 4 version of Firewatch, which is a pretty decent game on PC. Then, of course, to the groans of many people and to the excitement of many other people, we got a new look at Destiny expansions. Destiny, the Taken King, is coming out September 15th, and it has a lot of new content for fans. I stopped playing that game a while ago, but people are still playing it. We also got another look at No Man's Sky, which is looking bigger than ever, of course. But this time around, we got to see a lot more focus on how weapons work and how some objectives work. It still doesn't seem like it's coming out anytime soon, but it definitely looks promising. We also got our first glimpse at a new Hitman game. Well, not a lot of details, but we got a really cool cinematic trailer. Because damn, Agent 47 is just so cool. I love him. And we got a really weird abstract scarecrow focused Arkham Knight trailer. But the coolest part of the trailer was the intro, showing the cremation of the Joker. And then remember in my E3 predictions video when I said we're getting a new Final Fantasy game? Well, we are. Some weird new Final Fantasy game. I don't even know what it is. It's so Japanese, I can't get over it. But speaking of Final Fantasy, we're finally getting the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And the whole crowd lost their minds. This trailer looked amazing. This is something that we've been asking for forever. And it looks absolutely incredible. This is is one of the many things in this conference that have been like dreams come true for people, dream announcements. The only thing that would have made the E3 press conference of Sony better is if they announced Half-Life 3, but that's never gonna happen. Or is it? We also got another look at Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but I'm still a little pissed because we haven't seen any gameplay out of E3 yet, and I think that's a little bit lame. And we also got a quick look at Sony's VR, Morpheus. They didn't talk about it too much and reveal anything else new. It kind of just seemed like they were reminding us that they're still working on it, it's still out there, and it's gonna be cool. We also got a good look at some indie-flavored Devolver Digital games. I don't have time to talk about them here, but I played a lot of them and you should definitely check them out because they're worth it. And then we got a big glimpse of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and it looks good for a Call of Duty game with a lot of new features and it's definitely got a lot of Titanfall wall running, but that's fine, whatever. We also got another look at Star Wars Battlefront and it looks great once again. Sony, of course, is going to be getting exclusive content for it because that seems to be their modus operandi lately. But what really made me freak out, what really made me throw my hands up is the announcement of a Shenmue 3 Kickstarter. Yes, Sony gave Shenmue creators a platform to advertise their new Kickstarter. If you're saying, why why didn't Sony just fund it itself? Because it is kind of a risk, you know, that we, it's hard to gauge how many fans are actually out there. But as of the time of making this video, the Kickstarter is now up to a million dollars of a projected two million dollar goal. And that is absolutely crazy. And this is a game I've been waiting for forever since I played Shenmue 2. Uh, this is this is really great. This is crazy. Like I said, this is another basically dream come true announcement for fans. And the best thing was how Sony closed out with more Uncharted 4 gameplay, this time a driving sequence that was absolutely incredible. Detail-oriented, action-packed, what you'd expect from an Uncharted game, but we got to see shootouts, fist fights, lots of physics, pushing characters through walls, bullets flying, tiles and wood snapping and breaking. It was just so exciting. And when we got to see the Jeep chase sequence with Sully and Drake, it was just so exciting. Classic, hilarious dialogue, lots of action-packed moments, so much detail with civilians running around, mud flying up, and actual clotheslines with clothes on it getting caught in the car as they drive through it. The attention to detail is there. The game looks absolutely fun. It looks like everything you could have wanted from a PlayStation 4 Uncharted game, and I am so excited. You know how hard it was for me to be professional throughout this video? I am freaking out right now. I also included another quick reaction video down in the link below on my other channel because video games, if you want, you can check it out because I just wanted to make you guys laugh. But listen, it's getting really late here and I have to go to bed, but I do want to know what you guys think about the Sony press conference in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Am I like going crazy with the hype here? Like I know there were some issues, there were some groan worthy moments like their TV thing that nobody gave a shit about. But overall, was this 
awesome? Was it as crazy, like with all these amazing announcements? Let's, let's talk about it. And as always, guys, you know the drill. Liking this video really helps us out. It really helps me out because I'm in, I'm in LA and I don't want to end up a homeless person. But if you are new and this is your first time here, number one, I'm sorry. But number two, definitely subscribe because we do videos like this. We do lists, we do giveaways, and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.